So how can we determine the age of the universe using data from uh, galaxies? Well, you find one thing is that galaxies are all that we that we see are pretty much all moving away from us, and the ones that are farther away are moving faster. So let's say we have the following data: I have one galaxy at, at 30 mega light years, and we get these distances from using um, the known luminosities of supernova explosions, and that lets us get the luminosity, and then from luminosity and brightness we can determine distance. And let's say we this this galaxy is moving away from us at 6,300 kilometers per second. Okay, so this number is found, the distance is found using supernova explosions, supernova luminosities, and then combine that with brightness and and we get to, and we can get distance. This number is measured using the Doppler shift. So we look at spectral lines, and we can figure out how fast this, this, these objects are moving away from us. And and, and there we go. So that's, that's that's galaxy number one. In galaxy number two, we have data. Let's say that is 450 mega light years, and the speed is so this is the distance and the speed is say 10,400 kilometers per second away from us okay so both these galaxies are moving away from us and the ones that are farther away are moving are moving faster now hubble's constant which is a measure of that of that expansion is defined to be the speed that these galaxies are moving over their distance, and it's roughly constant for all of these. So, for example, if I take um, 6,300 kilometers per second divided by 300 mega light year, what I get is about 21 kilometers per second per mega light year. There's no good unit for it, so that's just it. If I do the same thing here, and I take 10,400 kilometers per second, and I divide it by 45, sorry, 450 mega light year, what I get is I get about 23 kilometers per second per mega light year. And let's just take an average of these. And, and, and what's really done is they do a linear regression, and you can find the constant a little bit better. But pretty close to the, 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 the current value, the best value is, is some more, say, around 22 kilometers per second per mega light year. Okay, so that's the, that's the time. Now, that's the Hubble's constant. Now, one thing we should notice is that this constant it has kind of funny units is really a distance over time over a distance. Really, the distances cancel, and this is really a one over time unit. So the units of, of, of Hubble's constant really is one over time. Another way to look at it is the following. If I have a galaxy that is moving away from me at 6,300 kilometers per second, and it's 300 mega light years away, we can ask the question, how long would it take for a galaxy to travel this distance in this amount of time? And so that time for something to move, if it's going a certain distance, and a certain speed is simply the distance divided by speed. Notice that um, this is the exact opposite of the definition for Hubble's constant. So for these galaxies, this is really 1 over the Hubble's constant. So 1 over the Hubble's constant should tell us the time it took for these galaxies to go back. And since all the times are the same, it pretty much says that all the galaxies were all in one place at one point in the, in, in the distant past. And we can actually calculate what that time is. And that time is the beginning of the universe. So 1 over Hubble's constant is, is the following. 1 over 22. And then the units, now we flip these around, and, and what we get is mega light year per 
per kilometer per second, and so the second ends up being up on the top. Okay, so notice this will have units of time because this is length, that's length, that's, that's a time management. So now we really just have a big conversion to make. And so we're going to convert these various things. We multiply by a lot of ratios of things to get what we want. And in the end, I'm going to want something that's in years. Okay, so we have mega light years at the top. I'm going to put mega light years on the bottom. And I know how to convert to light years. I put light years on the bottom and kilometers. And so that'll, that'll take care of my units. Mega light years canceling mega light years. Light years canceling with light years. Kilometers canceling with kilometers. So I'm just left with seconds on top, which, which I then can convert. So let me do that. So there's 10 to the 6 light years in one mega light year. There's 10 to the 13 kilometers in one light year and then we have seconds on the bottom seconds to say minutes minutes to hours hours to days and one more days to years okay so we have 60 seconds in one minute 60 minutes in one hour 24 hours in one day 365 days in one year. Again, the units cancel out. So we have seconds can we have seconds canceling with seconds, minutes with minutes, hours with hours, days with days. And then all I do is multiply 1 over 22, multiply by 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 13, divided by 60, divided by 60, divided by 24, divided by 365, and what I get is about 14 billion years. A uh, billion is um, 10 to the 9, so I get something around 1.4 times 10 to the 10. This number here is an estimate for the age of the universe. And with very careful measurements of this sort, we can actually say confidently that the um, the universe is about about thirteen point seven five years billion sorry twenty point four seven five billion years old.